These trucks are designed to run on electricity, not gas. And some investors are betting that they're the future. The pressure is mounting for one company in particular. Nikola. 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 Shares for the electric and hydrogen vehicle startup have seen big swings this year, despite the company having yet to sell a single truck. In September, shares rose 11% in a single day after the company struck a deal with General Motors, and then crashed in response to a short seller's allegations of fraud and an investigation into whether the company had misrepresented its progress to investors. Founder Trevor Milton stepped down as following the allegations. The buzz around Nikola represents a larger trend in the market. Investors and big automakers looking for a piece of EV startups in a quest to find the next Tesla. The Nikola story is a fear of missing out story. Is Nikola the next Tesla? Is Nikola the, the, the gamble that I need to make today that I either didn't make before or want to make again? To understand, you have to look back to 2010, when Tesla Motors was just taking hold in the auto world. For a long time, Tesla was seen as this complete anomaly to a pretty consistent story, which was investors did not like electric cars. And the reason they didn't like electric cars is because they lose money. But in 2010, Tesla announced a partnership with Toyota. In return for an auto factory in Fremont, California, Toyota would receive a $50 million stake in the electric vehicle startup. A month later, Tesla went public and its stock surged. Tesla started to make money. They started to show some degree of market share penetration. And probably most importantly, they proved that they know how to build cars. In March 2016, Toyota's 2.3 million Tesla shares were valued at $480 million. And by the end of the year, the company cashed out. The relationship between Toyota and Tesla was one of necessity in the beginning. Toyota had something to gain, Tesla had something to gain. It was a factory and it was technology. Toyota minimized the potential of Tesla's technology and Tesla ran away with the factory and used it to become a significant player in the luxury car market. Now, other automotive heavyweights want to find the next Tesla and hold on to it with the hopes of cashing in. Introducing the most advanced semi-truck the world has ever seen. Some are betting on Nikola, named after the famous engineer and physicist Nikola Tesla. The connection to rival car company Tesla is no coincidence. By 2016, Tesla was already a household name and Nikola took the opportunity to capitalize on its popularity. When the company announced its first vehicles that year, it came with big promises. It's my pleasure to introduce the Nikola One to the world. Just months later, Tesla also made a wager that big rig EV trucks would be a hit. We are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. Following the reveal, investors piled in to Tesla stock. Both companies were promising to wean the trucking industry off diesel, but using different approaches. Tesla committed to all electric vehicles, while Nikola said that hydrogen fuel cell technology, in addition to electric, would better power the trucks. The ability to outperform a diesel in every category, not only that, but 100% zero emission. Musk hasn't always shared the same views about hydrogen. If you're gonna pick an energy storage mechanism, hydrogen is an incredibly dumb one to pick. While hydrogen fuel has captivated public interest for years, companies have struggled to bring the technology to scale. It's very expensive, and it's also very difficult uh, to get a fueling infrastructure. When you think about the Big Mac truck, they're still running on diesel right now, or they're still using a combination of powertrains, engines and stuff to get down the road. There aren't charging stations all over America, you know, just waiting for a semi-truck to come in and plug in. For years, Nikola has assured investors that it had plans for a network of hydrogen fueling stations, as well as new battery technology. But so far, these promises remain unfulfilled, and some skeptics are wary of Nikola's ability to follow through. They have investors that, that stand behind them, they have a ton of engineers that work for them, they have a lot of capital, and they have customers that believe in them. But the one thing they don't have is a provable product on the road. Right now, we're almost entirely in the hype phase of electric semi-trucks. Despite this, investors have still piled on, and companies have placed large orders for trucks that have yet to be made. In 2018, Anheuser-Busch placed an order for 800 of Nikola's hydrogen electric trucks. And to demonstrate the technology, 
Nikola completed what it claims was the world's first zero emission beer delivery a year later, near Anheuser-Busch's headquarters in St. Louis. The trucks were slated for delivery in 2020, but the company later pushed that deadline. There are investors who put an awful lot of money, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars into this company, saying that they have seen the technology and that they are true believers. And these are automotive experts. But as we sit here in 2020, they have not earned a single dollar of revenue doing these plans. So that's why there's big skepticism. Still, in June 2020, the company went public through a reverse merger, which is when a public shell company invests money in a private company and combines with it. Nikola's market share briefly surged past Ford. And though the company has gained a lot of attention, it's not the only electric truck maker on the scene. There's BYD, there's Volvo, there's Daimler, there's Navistar, and the list goes on and on. With Nikola's stock riding high, in August, it released an earnings report that it had lost $86 million while pulling in essentially no revenue. And just a week later, the company bagged another deal. Shares of Nikola surging today, the company inking a deal with waste management giant Republic Services to provide 2,500 electric garbage trucks. Shortly after, the company announced the partnership with GM. Nikola forming a strategic partnership with General Motors this morning. Nikola Badger will be engineered and manufactured by GM. As a result, GM will get an 11% stake in Nikola and a seat on its board. GM will also be supplying its own battery and hydrogen fuel cell technology. We realized we shared a common uh, vision of the world of creating an all-electric future. Amid a rush of positive press, Nikola's shares soared. The companies like General Motors and Ford Motor Company are very eager to find partnerships that they can rely on. And it shows you they do not want to deal with the downside of losing influence with a company that could be a big deal. Still, skeptics are making bets that the company will fail. Just days after the partnership with GM was announced, a short seller released a report accusing Nikola of fraud. And later, news surfaced that federal prosecutors were probing allegations that Nikola misrepresented progress made in developing its technology. Nikola denies allegations of fraud. And General Motors says they will continue to work with Nikola to engineer and build the Nikola Badger, and that teaming with Nikola is just one part of its overall EV strategy. So, is Nikola the next Tesla? For some investors, the risk of partnering with an EV startup is worth the potential reward. 